Republicans are theater this morning. All the Republicans did is call names. Call names. That's it. He went outside. And, oh, oh, and at another way that I knew that this was bum crazy. The media thing is a joke. What kind of crack do you smoke? What kind of crack? What what kind of crack do you do? Dude, it, it's a joke to them. Jay, what do you think? I think <clears throat> Hunter Biden is an American hero for indirectly exposing what a joke the Congress is and our laws are. I agree. And, and I mean, I don't condone Hunter Biden, but thank God either. he's showing this. Go back to Russiagate. Trump, his entire family, people that support his campaign, they got called in, you know, sub congressional subpoenas. They had to answer. If you didn't, you got arrested. Hunter Biden says, well, I got your subpoena, but I'm not going to respond to it with the terms. Has a press conference. What happens? Zero. They start having the these hearings today. He shows up. He says... I'm only going to testify under my terms and I'm out of here. And the Republican party does nothing about it. The laws don't apply to the Biden family. Not a guy, the laws, and, and not just a Biden family, but anybody in power. So it's all being exposed. It's right in front of you. If, if that was Wayne Dupree or Jason Robertson or Hutch Bailey, we wouldn't Jr. have been able to walk out. And well, yeah, yeah. If, if we got subpoenaed and we said, I don't want to do it under those terms, we'd be in jail before dinner got cold. Mm -hmm. And if we showed up at the house to testify and we said, eh, I'm not sticking around, I'm out of here. We would have been thrown down, handcuffed. They're yeah. arresting January 6th people that were at the Capitol. Yeah. Oh my even, God, yeah. That weren't yeah. even there. Yep. They weren't even in the building. And yep. this clown can just show up. Laws don't apply to me. I'm out. Total gangster move. Touch. I agree with you that it was staged. Uh, you can see that when he leaves the hearing room and 30 cameramen go with him. Right. You know, they walk right out of the room. So they were there for that. In my opinion, they didn't stay at the hearing. Uh, I think it's a joke and a distraction. I don't care you know about what? Hunter Biden. I, I don't know him. He's nothing to me. I don't care about him. You know what? I saw somebody else say that uh, about, the, about the joke and the distraction because um, as a way to look past the uh, the destruction of our military command structure, how about that? That's it. That's it. The um, um, it's a distraction away Lloyd, from Lloyd Austin goes Austin, in for yep. elective cancer surgery. Right. Right. Oh yeah, there's been like ten things. The Lloyd Austin thing, people should be in jail for. That's huge, man. It is, yeah. it is big time huge. Because I, then, I I didn't want to get into it real deep with the senator on here. But if you look, there was military action that decisions were made while he was in the hospital and while the assistant was in Puerto Rico. So there's somebody in our government that's running military affairs that's not in the chain of command, and that is freaking serious. Yep. Well, yep. they didn't even tell Joe that's Biden. That's the card there, right there. It is. Right. No. Um, they will but, gladly uh, sacrifice that crackhead for the cause. Yeah. Oh, right. I mean, well, of all, of all stories, days. The story becomes Hunter, not Joe Biden's corruption. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, because but like I say, no other citizen could get away with this. No regular citizen. Except Ray Epps. Oh, my God. Yeah. How about Ray Epps? Zero jail time? Are you hey. kidding me? But you know what? With the with the Lloyd Austin thing, it come to say that he was, uh, he, he had pancreatic cancer. Colon or, cancer. Colon, colon cancer. Colon cancer. I was like, so he had a colonoscopy. I mean, uh. A can where, where you cut the cancer out. Yeah. That's and, what he had. And that's secretive? <laughs> it's, it's definitely not elective. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, you can elect to live or die, dude. What do you want? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's I mean, but yeah, I, and 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 they knew they knew that this was becoming a huge story. And and like Hutch said, you had military. Um, action is going across the country. Things are happening last week, and somebody was calling shots. If he was under, he doing somebody was calling shots. The president didn't know. Um, the Pentagon said that they didn't know. So somebody was calling shots. 
And so I think how, do, goes, you, I think so how do you deep. distract from that? Sorry. Hey, Hunter, can you uh, show up on uh, Wednesday? We'll have three chairs right by the exit. You just um, stay in there for about 15 minutes and then walk out. We won't stop you. Go. Okay. It was that easy. Well, yeah, and this is going to be the whole storyline. I mean, we've got that yeah. budget deal we talked about yesterday, $1.6 trillion, completely the caved. They were all waiting, weren't they? Yeah. Look at that. They got lights and everything. Mm-hmm. Well, and he even brings the the pimp daddy in the purple suit. I <laughs> think... Joke, um, man, this is sad. And speaking think- of Hunter, did you see the story broke about his art set sales? Turns out he knew who was buying the art, and they were they just, were buying. Just remember this, folks. Just remember this: when they plan a whole bunch of stories like this, there's a reason. All right, exactly. nobody cares about Hunter Biden's art, exactly. Except mm-hmm. the, except for a smoke screen. Yep. You know, it's something that it, it's. Let's get their their minds on something else. Let's get them talking on social media about this. Let's let them. Yep. Just yep. stay focused, man. Our country is at stake right now. Yep. Where you come from, or who your father is or your last name. Yes, I'm looking at you, Hunter Biden, as I'm speaking to you. You are not above the law at all. Yeah, the is. facts in this no, case are crystal clear. This committee <laughs> used and issued a lawful subpoena to Hunter Biden, a critical witness in this committee's investigation into Biden family corruption. Hunter Biden and his lawyers did not claim privilege of any kind because clearly he has none. They didn't contest the legitimacy of our reasons for issuing this subpoena, no reasons, because they clearly are legitimate, and yet he refused to comply. Uh, Trump's family members, Don Trump Jr., he uh, he did not defy a congressional subpoena. He showed up multiple times for multiple depositions for several hours. Um, in doing so, you know, Hunter Biden broke the law. He did so dibber- deliberately. You did so flagrantly. You showed up on the Hill, on the Senate side, the day of that congressional subpoena to defy it and spit in the face of this committee. That's what you did. The question the American people are asking us is, what is Hunter Biden so afraid of? Why can't you show up for a a congressional deposition? You're here for a political stunt. This is just a PR stunt to you. This is just a game that you are playing with the American people. You're playing with the truth. Um, Hunter Biden wasn't afraid to sell access to Joe Biden. Talk about Hunter's playing a game. What about you, Nancy? (laughs) Right. (laughs) I know, right? Yeah. Thank you, Trey Gowdy. I can never look at this stuff serious again. Exactly. Exactly. Well, and and is this going to set up the precedent too, where invariably at some point when the Republicans lose control of the House, that people can just say, "I'm just not going to sit for a closed door deposition." 